we left the build for a big city adventure. But now we are back. We're feeling recharged and are ready to finish our supply line plumbing, but that feeling fades fast. So we had to cut out the whole thing. And as it seems to be with all projects, we're finding ourselves very excited to get to the end of this one. I was so excited about this tool. Now, I want it to be gone. I'm over it. Little by little, we make progress. Hopefully get those done before Sarah gets back and surprise her. Follow along as we complete our supply line plumbing. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button. It's the easiest way to support our build and it's free. All right, we are back in the build after some time away from our land. We actually did a day trip over to Seattle. It was a Christmas gift for our kids and it was so cool. We got to ride on the ferry. We did Pike's Place Market. We did the aquarium and we just totally got to sightsee the whole thing. But now we are back and we are ready to get back to work so we can finish this hot water supply line. We have one more thing to go do down below the house for our cold water supply. We need to put in a T to our three quarter line that will be our circulating line of hot water and then get that other piece of three quarters line running back to where our hot water heater will be. And then we are done as far as we're gonna go today underneath our house. And then I think we're coming back up here and hopefully we can start doing some blocking and putting the stub outs that we need to put in so we can pass our pressure test. You ready for this? Let's do it. We'll see if we have everything downstairs still. Right above me is our cold water supply line and then right next to it is our hot water supply line. We forgot to put a T in this guy, the hot water supply line. So that's gonna be the first thing we're doing today, putting a T into this and then getting that return line that will go back to the hot water heater. I'm thinking it might not take us very long. Fingers crossed. The transition was flawless, Ryan.
All right, so we were putting on that original tea, and for whatever reason, maybe the pecs didn't fully expand, maybe Ryan was too slow on his exchange, but it didn't go on fully. So we had to cut out the whole thing. We don't have a coupler, so it would have either meant wait two days for the part to come for us or just create a new system. So we created a new system where now it's kind of going back behind the joist and then coming back. So that's what you were watching there. And now I think we can actually put on that return line for our circulating pump and then we're done. Okay, we have the last hot water return line all the way ran. Ryan's gonna put in this last connection and it will be all done, except we do need to put on the tape to mark it as a hot water line and then Ryan will nail it into place. Ryan will tack it into place with its little nail supports that we have. Get it? Yeah. All right. We did it. All right, we are done running our hot water supply line down below the house. It gave us a little bit of our run for our money there at the end with not having enough pieces and having to get creative to figure it all out. But it's done and now all the rest of the plumbing we're gonna do is gonna be above ground so we won't have to be crouched down. So that's where we're gonna leave you for today and we will see you tomorrow. Oh, you're going that way. Bun buns, like forget it. Hey. Hi. A little close up. A little close up for the bun buns. Yeah, yeah, you really outran that dog. All right, we are back on the build and we are still working on some plumbing, but a little bit different. We won't be down under the house today. We need to actually make sure that all of our connection points in the house are stubbed out correctly so we can run our pressure test. So today we're gonna be installing some blocking, getting all those parts mounted that we need to have mounted and just moving this project along. We are very close to the end of our supply line plumbing. Hey. They sent us a big box of big box of paper. Really? Is there only two things in it? Oh, and then our uh, fittings for our uh, the, the the thing down below. Oh, okay. So we can get that done. It's our concentric vent. Oh. So for a hot water heater. Oh, okay. We can put the oops the intake and. Uh, and then the exhaust, and it can do it all through this one three inch pipe. Or four inch, I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, one hole through the roof. done? Maybe. Okay, on to bathroom number one. 
We go into the downstairs bathroom now? Yeah. All right. That's what I was thinking. We'll just work our way up. Seven inch piece of blocking. Okay. Do you want me to go cut that right now? I'm itching to be useful on the build. Those things are funny. What? Those things. 21 inches. That's what I've read. All right. What's going on with that? Like, is it gonna do a lot of massaging? I, I think it's got multi modes and stuff. I'll just use one mode. Yeah. I never need all those modes. What I need is some water pressure. One step closer to all my biggest dreams. Did you happen to read the directions? I read them all. At all? I got it all locked in my brain. All right, we are all done with everything we needed to do in our laundry room. We've moved on to the lower bathroom floor. Um, we need different size nails for the stub out pieces that we have for our sink and our toilet, but we're moving on to the mixer valve that will be for our shower. Now we wait. step closer to a shower. All right, Sarah went to go pick up the kids from school and I stayed back to answer a couple of real estate leads. I had some people inquiring about some property near the lake we live by. So I got that taken care of and Sarah isn't back yet. So I'm gonna work on getting the kitchen stub outs complete and hopefully get those done before Sarah gets back and surprise her with a little bit more work towards getting our plumbing towards our inspection. All right, so I'm waiting on Sarah to get back before we, to, with the correct nails so we can get these secured. And once she gets back, then we'll be able to secure them into the wall and we'll be done with the kitchen lines. All right, Sarah just got home and she got the nails that we needed for those connections. So we're gonna get those nailed in, secured, and then we'll be moving on to the next thing. Having a very hard time on one nail. All right, I got to the hardware store and got teeny tiny nails to go into these stub outs. Um, so I'm putting those in, in here in this lower floor bathroom and Ryan is working on some of the stub outs that go in our kitchen.
All right, I don't know if you guys remember, but last time we were connecting our outdoor spigot, we have a hot and cold water spigot that we're running outside. And I accidentally bought the PEX B fittings for that instead of the PEX A fittings. So we had to return those. I just got the new fittings in. So I'm gonna go get those reconnected and then that outdoor faucet will be finished. Okay. So there's our fittings there. I'm gonna put a little new fresh Teflon on there and then get these PEX connections connected. And here are those correct fittings. We got the PEX A fitting on this side and our MPT fitting on that side. All right, now we just have this cold water line to connect and we'll be done with this fit in. Oh, every time I do that, it's like I'm in a race. It's cold down here right now, so it seems like you only have seconds to get it on the fit in before you can't get it on there anymore. I hope we get this on camera. You gotta see my kids. Seriously, I had no idea that chickens would bring my kids hours of entertainment. We are done with all the plumbing that we need to run on the lower floor of our house. So now we are moving on to our upstairs bathroom and then we'll be done with supply line except for one outdoor faucet that we need to get in or outdoor spigot. When we came up here originally, I was like, we just gotta do two short things, but that's not what we have to do. We have to like think a lot. And cut blocking and yep, packs things. Well, and move the packs and do the that. So, and tee off for this. What are we doing after we're done with supply? Oh, we have all those vents that we need to get in. Yeah, we'll have plenty to do. All right, we got up here and we realized that all this involved more thinking than we thought it did. And it's the end of our work day. So we are done for today. So we'll see you back tomorrow on the build. I need this thing to, to work its magic and warm us up today. Yeah. need uh, our packing piece here. Oh yeah. So that'll be 16 and 7 eighths.
All right, we are back in the build and we are tackling our master bathroom today. And we're getting all of our pecs ran for that. Right now we are putting in our shower mixer and then we'll move on to the hot water and cold water for our sink and then the toilet. And then we will be done running the supply line. All right, we were just trying to get this fit in here, but because of how close the valve is going to be to this stud, we need to actually get the connector that will convert this from NPT uh, to PEX. And we need to have that PEX connected before we mount it. Otherwise we just wouldn't have access. So this valve is gonna be on hold until those parts come in we'll get those tomorrow. So for today, we're going to get that toilet valve and those sink valves installed and ready. And then we'll be ready to put this in as soon as our parts come in. everybody in the last episode. I was so excited about this tool. Now, I want it to be gone. I'm over it. Is it just you? Light it on. Do you remember when the inspector came and did a progress check and he's like, I go to some people's houses and, and they need some assistance, but you guys look like you know what, what's happening. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this time he might be like, you guys need some assistance. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I feel you like- You don't once, feel like it's that bad? I, okay. I feel like once I, it gets I here- I need to be, be told, oh good, you guys are doing a good job. Call it? Call it? I mean, I think we're done far as we can go until we hit the hit the depot tomorrow i'm gonna say you're gonna call it done yeah i feel like for what everybody's gonna see we can finish that cold water outside thing just real quick it's gonna take us about two days <laughs> <laughs> maybe two hours oh my gosh you're not in there and yeah Okay. I think I'm say I'm I feel good saying we're done with this part of the project. Then, well, well, then we, we need won't to cross it off the official list because we need to pressure test. Yeah, but yeah. I'm pretty happy about this. And we need our water line going yep. through the house. And then after this, we've got to do some vents. And man, we're gonna be ready. Yeah, combo's coming. I guess there is that whole gluing the gluing the ABS. Yeah, we got to call a plumber to come out and help us with the gluing. Yeah, because we're. A not, little bit nervous about it. We want to make sure we did it all right. So, all right, we've dawdled a lot. I think that's where we're going to leave you guys for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. 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 <laughs>